at the World Canoe Polo Championships in Daixing in China. Our next game is an under 21 men's game between Switzerland and Germany. Teams just getting ready to line up. On the left hand side of your screen we have Switzerland in white boats, red buoyancy aids and white helmets. And to the right of your screen, Germany, black boats, black buoyancy aids and black helmets. <laughs> Referee in charge of this game, Andy Fear Ross, just getting ready to get the game underway. <laughs> And we're off. Great sprint there from the Swiss. So, Switzerland on the first attack. Coming up against that German defence, strong, powerful German under-21 defence there, trying to make their way in. Clocks reset, pay on since the ref. Swiss players just trying to get into that zone. Trying to get the ball through into their players. Lombris looking for it there, but it didn't come. It's been recycled out. Schneider just the back there on the back line, just waiting for a a chance. Rashley taking the corner for Switzerland. And looking for that shot. Can he get one away? Block down. Fischler-Sill trying to get that ball away, but that German defence just paddles everywhere. So, ball comes back for a corner. Still Switzerland possession. Long ball over. Rashley just receiving. They'll build a second attack here. Lombris and Schneider trying to get into that German defence. Working hard to break it down. Pulling it in. Still in that zone there. Lombris with the shot. Bounces off. Germany. Slowing the game down. They've got a couple of players away, but no fast break here. And that's a foul on the keeper. So, turnover again. Germany not even getting a shot away this time. This under 21 middle round group games. Looking to get the top two teams through to the semi finals. There are six teams in each of the group, so four to go through to semis. The rest will play off for fifth to twelfth place. Switzerland just pushing in. 
Great block there. And Raymond's just taking the ball down for Germany. Ball across, it's going to be picked up by Switzerland. Turn of play again. Just need to keep it safe. Switzerland on the attack, no goals so far. And deflected out. Great defensive work there from Germany. Quick substitute changeovers while Switzerland set up for the corner. German defence just driving out those two Swiss players in the zone, just pushing them further and further out, making it more and more difficult for them to get that ball in and take a shot from underneath the goal. Move looking for the ball in the centre there. It's not coming yet. And the shot comes from the wing. Again, defended so well by Germany. These under-21 teams certainly getting bitter and stronger every time I see them. The power that they have in that defensive zone is absolutely phenomenal for these young men. So, Swiss on the attack once again. Move continuing to make a nuisance of himself, but he's coming out for a bit of a break. Oh, off the bar. Ball has gone out, out of play. Sideline throw to Germany. Germany with a break there. Can they get that ball up and in the air before keeper? Keeper's in. Germany. And Brewster looking for that pass. Just bringing the ball up. Taking their time. No shot on the clock. Shot clock's running down now. Ten seconds. They'll be looking to get this ball in. And blocked again. Fantastic save there. Corner for Germany. So, on the attack once again. Play on, says the ref. Shot clock's reset. Germany looking to get into the middle there. Oh, no, ball goes out wide. Shots come in. And that goes out straight off the bar. Switzerland ball. Scores still 0-0. Zero, zero. Coming down to the last minute of the first half of this game. Switzerland driving in there. 
No shot on. And great shot saved by Linz. German defence bringing that down, controlling it. Now they have a break. 30 seconds left. Need to get that pass off. It's gone a long way out. May. Ten seconds. Oh, it's another fantastic save from the Swiss keeper. That's Moore. And as we go into half time, um, I have with me a guest. I, I have Greg Smale from the ICF. He is the chief official at this tournament and one of the many people involved in the organisation of it. So I'd just like to ask Greg how he thinks it's going so far, day three. <laughs> Hi Lynn, it's, uh, well, it's stopped raining for a start, so it's good. Uh, I think it's going very well. The Chinese have done a great job organising it. Uh, as you can see from the commentary pictures, the venue is pretty good. Uh, we need some work behind the scenes, but that's normal for a competition. Uh, so generally good and I'm really happy that the standard is lifted in the last two years and we're already getting into some really quite nervy games for teams which for a Thursday afternoon is, is certainly half a day ahead of last time. Normally Friday morning is when it starts to ramp up. We're getting, we're getting some of the games now. Definitely, so. I've seen some fantastic games today. I think the teams, I mean... These young men, for, for example, I mean, they are so fit and so strong these days, aren't they? All the players are, have really upped the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, we normally have a warm-up competition before the Worlds, and because we're in China, we were, it, by coincidence and luck, really, we were involved in the Super Cup last week in Fuyang, and that was in front of the other, some of the other disciplines, sprint, marathon, etc. And I, I hope uh, it was a good show to the other athletes, some Olympic gold medalists, how big and how fit and how strong the polo athletes are becoming. As you say, the under-21s, I think you said earlier in this half, every time you see them, they're getting fitter and stronger. The men are massive at they times. They certainly are, yeah. And uh, I used to play. I feel like I'm a child compared to their physiques now. So. Yeah, you look at them now, and, and definitely there were a lot of smaller players back in the day, and, and the strength that some of these guys have got. And they must be six foot six, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, and they, they really are powerful, and I think other athletes in other disciplines respect them and uh, finally realise that it's not a group of youngsters bouncing around with a ball. This is a, a real competitive discipline. Yeah, so. definitely. Teams are coming back to line up, and uh, I'll just say thank you to Greg just for sharing with us during this half-time period, and thank you to the ICF and the Chinese Canoe Association, Daixing Council and Kaoso City for absolutely making this available to us. It's been a fantastic venue so far, and I'm sure it will be to the end of the week. So thanks, Greg. Thank you to thank all the you, work Lynn, that you guys uh, do. Good luck. Thank you. So the second half of the game gets underway. So scores still remain, 0-0. Zero, zero. Everybody wants to win these games. As I said, these are the middle group games. These are the games that decide who goes to semi-finals. Nobody wants to lose. The other teams in this group are Netherlands, Italy, Spain and Poland. So by no means any easy teams there. They will have to fight all the way. And a fantastic shot there. Baker from Germany with the first goal of this game. Oh, 
So Swiss looking to come back, equalise here. Ball's right in the centre, but no shot. Ball not quite making it out though. Germany on the on the break. Moore's back in, in his goal, so as the Germans send the ball back. Just slowing it down a bit. German attack. No, no shot on, they say, no shot on. Time for another go, though. Ball goes over. May, what can he do? Oh, he's fallen in. Ball picked up by Switzerland. Control with Switzerland once again. Oh, blocked. Baker just deflecting that ball out. Working in once again. Nice. Drop down into German hands once again. So we're back off to the other end. Certainly non stop. Taking their opportunities to substitute when they can, get a breather. Long ball over. And the shot. Forster with the shot, but back out. Recycled once again. Swiss defence just holding their own there, not letting them have space. And over it goes. Oh, not quite got hold of that. Has now. Beautiful defending there from Rushley. on the attack once more as three players piled into that Swiss defence all over Fantastic save once again from Moore. Reimer's shot, certainly powerful. Oh, 
Out once more. Brought down. Fished back out of the water and back. Oh, shot once again, save. I think Raymer has unleashed quite a lot of shots now at Moore, who's blocked them down continually. Germany do still have that one goal that they sneaked in the net earlier, so slim one goal lead. Just under three minutes of this half to play. See if Switzerland decide to make any changes to their style of play. Whether they want to push out and try and get that goal. Again, another save. Amazing, amazing work. said about the strength and power of these young men but also their skills their boat skills are excellent moving the boats up over and under each other while still remaining upright throwing a ball and paddling so a few skills all rolled into one there oh nearly got caught napping there Linz just had a Swiss player thinking he might have a chance, but not to be. Reimer into the centre. Oh, out again. Oh, and from the outside the zone. Firster. From Germany with goal number two. Oh. Goal line throw to Germany. Swiss now pressed out. A struggle probably to score two, but pressure's on. Keeping the pressure on. Germany just looking to keep possession of this ball. Last 15 seconds of the game, all Germany need to do is hang on to it for the win. Throw it up there, but that is it. That's the end of the game. Well played, gentlemen. That was a lovely game.